The power of AI sales agents has become clearer than ever for me. With over 20 agents built on N8N in the past six months, we have seen anywhere between 30% to 300% increases in lead conversions in the businesses where we've implemented this. By the end of this video, you'll have everything you need, including a completely free template to build your own N8N AI sales agents and implement them inside of your business. And the best part is you don't need to be a developer to make this work. You don't need any coding experience whatsoever. We'll cover step-by-step -step how to set up your own AI sales agent using N8N, which can automatically update your CRM, nurture leads, follow your script, handle objections, and autonomously book meetings inside of your calendar. I'll even show you how to integrate it inside of your CRM or with platforms such as ManyChat so that you can have your own AI sales agent inside of Instagram DMs or Facebook Messenger. So without any further ado, let's jump right into it. Let's talk about setting up N8N so that you have your own environment and then I'll dive into our N8N and show you a couple little tips and tricks on how to use it. Now, when it comes to setting up N8N, you can either do it on your local host, meaning that you're gonna host it on your own machine, which is great if you just want to play around with it if you actually want to use it in action in your or someone else's business you should definitely host it somewhere you can use platforms such as digital ocean which we personally use or even render they are very very cheap and affordable options in order for you to self-host alternatively if you don't want to go through the hassle of self-hosting n8n N8N actually has a cloud version. So if we take a look at the pricing page here, the starter plan already starts at 20 euros per month, which is about $22. It's fully hosted by N8N. You can have up to five active workflows and unlimited test ones, and you have two and a half thousand workflow executions. And then you can also upgrade to the pro plan for only 50 euros a month, where you have much more additional executions and workflows. And as I said, if you want to self-host N8N, you have unlimited workflows, unlimited executions, so many more benefits. So if you're just starting out and you want to experiment, get the starter plan. If you're actually going to take it seriously and build a lot of solutions on N8N, go the self-hosting route and use something like DigitalOcean. There's a ton of tutorials already out there. We're going to be sharing tutorials as well very soon in the school community at school.com slash Omnifusion. And if you guys want me to make a tutorial on how to actually set up and self-host N8N, feel free to leave a comment down below, but that's something for another video. For now, we're gonna continue and talk about actually building your AI agent. Now, when it comes to building your AI agent, there's really three core steps that we need to follow. The first one is your core AI logic, which is connecting the N8N agent to OpenAI and setting up a prompt for sales conversations. So let's dive into N8N and walk through this step-by-step. Step. So once you're inside of your N8N, simply click on create workflow in the top right-hand corner, which is gonna open up an empty canvas. You can click up here to simply name your project and I'm gonna say N8N sales agent YouTube. And we then have a very simple drag and drop canvas. What we're gonna do for the first step is we're simply gonna open it up and we're gonna select chat, which is gonna be a chat trigger. And it's gonna allow us to actually be able to test this by clicking on chat. And here we can have a conversation with the agent that we're about to set up. From this chat node, all we want to do is go to the plus type in agent and select AI agent. This is going to be the foundation for our AI sales agent. When we click on agent, you can see that there's a lot of different agent types that we can use. What we are going to use is a tool agent because we wanna give it later access to things such as our CRM. We're now simply gonna close this step and here we're gonna go ahead and connect a chat model. Now, in this case, we're gonna be using OpenAI. So simply search for OpenAI select the OpenAI node. So now that we have the OpenAI chat model right here, all we need to do is click on it and we need to connect a credential right here. In order to do that, simply open the dropdown, click on create new credential. And here we're gonna set up an OpenAI testing account. In order to set up your API key, all you need to do is go to platform.openai.com, sign up for an account, which is gonna allow you to have API access and you're gonna pay based on your token usage, depending on how much you use it. In the left-hand menu, simply navigate to API keys, click on create new secret key, and we're gonna call it AI N8N sales agent YouTube video. Gonna click on create secret key, and I'm now gonna copy out the secret key right here. We're gonna navigate back into N8N. We're gonna paste in the API key right here. We're gonna call it N8N AI sales agent YouTube tutorial, and we're gonna click on save credentials. We've now successfully connected 
our OpenAI chat model to OpenAI by using our API key. And here we can select the model that we want to use in order to have the conversation. Now, GPT-40 Mini is the cheapest option. If you want to go for that, GPT-40 is generally accepted as the best model to go for when you're building an AI sales agent. Now for the memory, for this use case, we're gonna use buffer window memory. As you see, it says it's the easiest. It's gonna store the memory inside of N8N, so you don't need to set up any credentials. What we personally use internally is Postgres chat memory, and we use something like Supabase in order to set that up, but that's something for another video. For this one, we're just gonna use the buffer window memory, and we can select the context window length. So this is gonna determine how many past interactions are gonna be saved. So if we leave this number as five, it means it's gonna have five times user message, AI message, user message, AI message, and it's gonna have that five times as conversation is true for the model. You can increase this obviously to 10, 15 or 20. If it becomes too long, it's a lot of input for the AI to handle and it may get confused. So having something like five or 10 is probably a good way to go when you're just starting out and you can experiment with this down the line. Now that we already have all of this set up, we basically have everything we need in order to talk to the model. So if we just simply click on save and we click on chat, we can say hi. And as you can see, we can actually see what is happening down here. So use the memory to retrieve any conversation data. It then sent the request to OpenAI and it saved the output inside the memory and it replied back with hello. How can I assist you today? So now that we've actually set up the framework for this AI agent, all we need to do is set up the prompt so that the AI agent actually turns into an AI sales agent and knows exactly what to do. What we're gonna do is we're simply gonna click onto the AI agent. We're gonna go ahead and click on add option under the options. We're gonna click on system message. And this is now gonna be our system prompt. Right now, it just says you are a helpful assistant, which is the default for any AI agent. We now want to turn it into an AI sales agent and the prompt format that we have tested, tried and tested, and it works incredibly well is to first have the context. So this is who the agent is, what business it works for, which platforms it's talking to users on. This is all the context that you want to include. The next step is going to be style, how to speak, what emojis to use, etc. The third part is gonna be instructions. Here we want to specify instructions for the conversation plus the script that it should follow. Objection handling. Here we're gonna specify objections and how to handle those objections. In the next step, we're gonna have tools. So this is gonna be explain the tools and how slash when to use them. So as you may have seen, if we go over here, we can connect tools such as, for example, having a sheet so we can update a Google Sheet. For example, we want to explain to the agent, for example, when the user provides his phone number, use the Google Sheets tool in order to save that phone number. We'll get into that a little bit later. And that really is the prompt. At the end, you can also add additional requirements. If you have any additional things, you can add them down here as well. This is how you build a prompt. Prompting is a skill which takes a lot of time to learn and it's not enough time to cover it in this video. But if you subscribe to the channel, I'm gonna make future videos. So leave a comment down below if you want more information on how to actually prompt an AI sales agent. And I'd be more than happy to make a more in-depth video on that specific topic. But this is the specific framework. So I'm gonna go ahead and fill this out real quick and I'll be right back with a very, very basic prompt for an AI sales agent. So I have now written out a very, very basic prompt. I just put five to 10 minutes of effort into this. So this is obviously not a final prompt but it will give you an idea of how to write it. So you are Michael, an appointment setter for Omnifusion. You're speaking to leads via SMS. The lead just filled out a form on the website, which prompted you to read out, reach out. I've clarified the style, some instructions, and a very, very basic script where we find out more about their business, discover their pain points. I personally find that giving an exact script like I did in the first message right here is not necessarily the best approach because the AI will be very, very stuck on that specific wording. So what you can do, for example, is say something like ask the user what their business is and then add a couple example phrases. Example phrases. And then you can add a little bit of wording in here, which can work very well. For this uh, use case, I'm just gonna keep it the way it is. 
I added some objection handling where I just wrote the objection. I don't have money. And the answer is that's okay. I don't either. So it's a little bit of a joke. Obviously, that's not how you would handle an objection, but you get the point. And you can just add all of your objections down here. Now that we have this basic system prompt set up, we can click on save. What I'm going to do here is I'm going to remove the tool. going to click on save. And now we can go to the chat. We can click here to reset the chat. It's going to clear all of the conversation history. We can click on high and it's now actually going to have that conversation with us based on the system prompt that we just specified. As you can see, it's now sent me the message, which I specified in the script. I'm going to go ahead and say, sure. Great. Um, I run an AI sales agency and help businesses optimize their sales process. And as you can see, it's now actually following through with the script and the instructions that we specified. I'm also going to hit it with, with an objection, uh, which is going to be, I don't have money. And we'll see if it actually uses that. So it says, that's okay. I don't either. Let's focus on helping your business grow. So it did what I wanted it to do. And this is now the basic framework for this agent. The second step is to set up some workflow structure. So we can use trigger nodes like webhooks, cron jobs, or others. So as you can see right here, we currently have the trigger for when a chat message is received. We can actually replace this node and add the first step, which can be a trigger such as on an app event. So when we, for example, receive a message inside of, let's say, HubSpot, when we receive a message here on conversation creation, we can then go ahead and trigger the AI agent. And we can also send a reply back inside of HubSpot. So after the AI agent, we can go to HubSpot and we can actually send a message or update certain information about that user and message them back. So that is one of the example ways how you would build out a workflow and you can have multiple steps in here. Maybe you wanna trigger the HubSpot, you wanna have the AI agent, you then want to do something specific with the answer and save it somewhere, or maybe even have a human as a suggestion, give a human the message and then send it out. But you can build out the workflow here and it's very similar to Zapier or Make, so you can build a lot of advanced things here. And finally, data storage. We wanna be able to store conversation data in Google Sheets or a CRM for future reference. So something that we can do here, for example, is we can use the tool option. So because you guys probably all have different CRMs, if you're watching this, I'm just going to go with Google Sheets. We're going to go to Google Sheets here. We need to add credentials right here. Uh, you can follow the docs. If you click here, it's going to open up the docs in a new window and it's going to explain exactly how to set that up. I'm going to skip that for this video. We can use the tool description and we can set this manually or we can have it automatically. So what we can do, for example, is for every message the user sends, provide a summary of the customer profile. We're going to save it on a sheet within a document. We're going to actually create a new row. And now you can simply select the document and the specific sheet that you want. Now you would go into the AI agent and in the tools section that we created earlier, we would go in and say every time you send a message, execute the tool Google Sheets first and save information about the user. That's now going to allow the agent to use the Google Sheets node. Obviously, it's not fully set up in order to save the information about the user and do it dynamically. You could also change this, for example, to when the user sends you their phone number, execute the tool Google Sheets and save the phone number of the user. And then we could actually use that to save the phone number. And we would go into here and we would say, use this tool to save the phone number of the lead. And then that would actually work and save the information. You can do a lot more here and you can build this out with different tools, but I think you get the point. So let's cover a little bit more connecting the AI sales agent to third parties because this is really what gives it power. The first thing I already showed you, CRM integration. You can use a HubSpot or a custom CRM node to update lead status and log conversations. So like I explained just before, you can use a HubSpot trigger, you can use a tool to save stuff inside of HubSpot or whatever other CRM you use, Close.io, Salesforce, Go High Level, whatever the case may be, you can use it to update your CRM by building these custom tools. You can use Google Sheets and add rows, edit rows, remove rows, etc. I wouldn't recommend running a Google Sheets business. So if you have a CRM, use a CRM, but Google Sheets is a great thing if you're a beginner. And finally, and this is something where I can show you a little bit more, is a 
calendar booking. So you can use N8N to dynamically book meetings into your Google Calendar. And you can do that by actually using, I'm gonna delete the Google Sheets node, by using the calendar node. So you can have a calendar node right here, which as you can see right here, but actually what we wanna do is we wanna get an event and then we also want to create an event. So if we go to Google Calendar again, we want to have two separate tools. So one of them is gonna to be to create an event and one of them is gonna to be to get events. So what we wanna do is we want to use this tool to check availability of our calendar to see which slots are taken and which are available. And we can use this one to actually schedule in the meeting. Again, if you want more in-depth views of how to actually build this out, let me know in the comments down below and subscribe to the channel. But I think you guys get the point. Inside of the tool agent, you would then go down to tools and specify this. You would say, use the check calendar tool to see availability and then suggest two available time slots to the user. Once you've confirmed an available time slot with the user, use the create event Google Calendar tool to actually create the event. Again, use the docs button right here and it fully explains how you can set all of this up inside of N8N. They have great documentation, so I would recommend using this. And you can actually specify the start time and the end time, and the AI can actually dynamically set this up and actually dynamically fill this in. You can also use default reminders for the meetings to actually remind people of the meeting before it happens to make sure that you have more show ups. So this is just some of the power and possibilities of AI sales agents. We're gonna be sharing a lot more on this channel, so stay tuned. Next, let's talk about sending messages. So we've already covered that you can send messages through your CRM. So you can trigger messages inside your CRM as notes, tasks, or an in-CRM chat. A lot of CRMs will have their own chat function where you can connect your Instagram, connect your Facebook, connect your SMS through Twilio, for example, and more. So you can do that and actually connect it through your CRM, which could also mean that you want to have a trigger. You could also, instead of having a HubSpot trigger, you could have a webhook trigger because a lot of different CRMs actually allow you to do an external request. So inside the CRM, whatever you're using, let's say you're using Go High Level, you could specify that when a user sends a message, you want to do a webhook. You would then do a webhook to this URL, which is shown right here. As soon as that webhook is received, the AI agent would then execute, and then you can simply do a respond to webhook, which will then return the data from the AI agent to the webhook inside your CRM, and you can use that. An alternative option, which a lot of people use because it's a very popular thing to integrate AI sales agents inside of Instagram DMs, Facebook Messenger, WhatsApp, etc., is to use ManyChat, and then you would use the same principle. You would have this webhook, and you would ping the webhook from ManyChat. Inside our school community, completely free at school.com slash Omnifusion, we have a ton of templates on integrating ManyChat with other platforms such as VoiceFlow and FlowWise. However, with NA10, the same principle would apply and you would simply use the webhook URL in order to trigger your AI sales agent. Now, once you've built out your AI sales agent system and you've actually put it somewhere, you need to test and optimize that system. Now, testing the flow, you can use manual triggers to simulate leads. So that is what I showed you guys before, where instead of this, you would simply go and input chat. So this is a manual chat trigger. This is how you would test your agent without having to actually integrate it with your CRM yet. So you can actually test how it's behaving and if it's handling the conversation correctly, executing tools correctly and more. The second step you would do is prompt fine tuning. So based on your testing, you would keep adjusting your prompt. You would throw random objections on it. You would try and throw your AI sales agent off course. And if it does go off course, you want to go back to the prompt and actually specify that in a better way to avoid it actually going off course. And finally, you want to do performance tweaks. So once it's actually live, you want to monitor your hosting if you self-hosted it or monitor the usage on N8N to make sure that you don't go over the executions that you have available inside of your plan. And you actually want to look into conversations and optimize based on real conversations that the AI sales agent is having. Now that was a full overview of how to build AI sales agents inside of N8N. The next steps for you are going to be to either get free templates and the training. So as I said, I'm going to share the free template. So this template right here, along with the prompt that comes inside of it, it's going to be available at school.com slash Omnifusion. You can simply scan the QR code or visit the website 
completely free. As I said, get the template, get more resources. We're going to be uploading all tutorial videos and future templates over there as well. Or if you want us to build your AI sales system, if you're a business owner and you just want to have the best possible AI system, you don't want to do it yourself and you want people who have actually done this dozens of times over the past year to build a specific solution for your business, please visit omnifusion.ai or scan the QR code right here and book in a free call. We'll take a look at your business, see if we can even help and if it even makes sense. So nothing really to lose there. Feel free to visit us at omnifusion.ai. If you enjoyed this video, please leave a like, comment down below if you have any questions, more than happy to help you out there and subscribe to the channel for more videos in the future. I hope you have a fantastic day and good luck building your NA10 AI sales agents.